Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. Registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, eczema, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing and renewing and regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. We are here for you. Let us help you change your life today. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members, workmates today as well. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll take your calls here in, uh, we'll get your calls in our second segment, assuming we have enough calls. Second segment, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls in the at the end of our second segment today, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head over to my websites, brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com. You can also go over to criticalhealthnews.com, purchase products right off the websites, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. You can sign up to uh, join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites. If you want to be a business builder and generate some money, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, if nutritional supplementation has helped you or your family, if the longevity products have helped you or your family lose weight, get off your medications, just feel better, you can share and spread the word with your friends and neighbors and workmates and generate some money while you're doing it. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team, and they can tell you all about it, or you can sign up right off the website. It's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side. We're talking skin health. Last week, uh, some of you probably know that uh, the Supreme Court affirmed Obamacare. I wanted to talk about that just a moment, and then we'll continue talking about skin care. This whole Obamacare thing has been in the news. Last week there was a ruling that basically uh, affirmed the so-called Affordable Health Care Act. That's the official name, the Affordable Health Care Act. That's a marketing term, if ever there was one. I think it was some Democratic pollster who came up with that term. It's a really neat article in uh, in uh, the New Yorker. What, oh, it's in Harper's Magazine about Obamacare, if you're interested in reading some, uh, some of the behind-the-scenes stuff about Obamacare. That's a kind of a neat article. It talks about the failure of Obamacare. In any case, last week the Supreme Court uh, affirmed it as the law of the land. Actually, they didn't affirm Obamacare. What they affirmed was one of the phrases in Obamacare. This whole legal mumbo-jumbo thing is, is so confusing. If you've ever been to court, if you've ever had a court case, you know that sentences and phrases and words and contracts and in agreements play an important role in whether an agreement is valid or not. Not whether the agreement is a good agreement or a bad agreement or a fair agreement or a bad, a f- unfair agreement, but whether a phrase or a quote or a line or a, f- a word in an agreement is, is a authentic or legal or appropriately used. Sometimes whole, whole constitutional acts depend on whether a word, one single word, is used correctly, and that is the case with this whole Obamacare thing last week. There's a guy named King. Basically, it's called King uh, versus Barnwell. Uh, that's the, the official name of the, of the uh, act that the Supreme Court r- uh, ruled against, a King versus Barnwell, Barnwell being the Secretary of the uh, Human Health and Services 
um, basically the government. So this guy King wants to buy health insurance. He sues the government because the Affordable Health Care Act says in there's a quote in the Affordable Health Care Act in Obamacare that says established by the state. That's the phrase established by the state. Mr. King lives in Virginia. His state hasn't established anything. So he's saying he's exempt. He doesn't have to buy uh, health insurance. So he, he, he sues the government and he loses and he loses again. And finally brings it up to the Supreme Court and surprise, surprise, they rule against him. Surprise, surprise. They say it's the intent of the Affordable Health Care Act that matters, not the specific words or the specific phrases. All of this is to say that if you guys think that the Affordable Health Care Act or Obamacare is going away anytime soon, you are whistling past the graveyard. It is here to stay because Obamacare is a massive money grab. It's a way of centralizing power. It's a way of centralizing money for the drug companies, for the healthcare industry, and, and sure enough, the drug company, the drug company stock, and hospital stock, and insurance company stock all went up as soon as this, uh, as soon as this, um, this uh, ruling went through. Fact of the matter is, there's nothing Obamacare can do for our health. This is, this is all about the distinction between medical care and health care. We have been led to believe that medicine is health, that medical care is health care. It is not. Medical care is doctor care, it's drug care, it's devices, it's surgeries, it's radiation. It has nothing to do with being healthy. It has everything to do with maintaining or uh, perhaps at, the, at best eliminating diseases, which it never does. Human beings are not metrics. Human beings are analog. They're not digital. There's so many fuzzy aspects to humanity that you can't test and diagnose and drug us, and drug human beings into being health and to being healthy. Health is about being excited to be alive. Health is about resilience. Health is about being able to fight bacteria and viruses. Health is about rebuilding. Health is about strength and power. And it has nothing to do with drugs. I don't know how many... You know, I, I hate to beat a dead horse here, but there is no way that a drug can make us healthy. There is no way that a surgical procedure can make us healthy. It doesn't work that way. Unless you have an infection or unless you have a broken bone, removing an organ isn't going to make you any healthier. There's no way that can happen. You need the full complements of systems in the body. You need your gallbladder. You need your uterus and womb. You need your breast. You need your thyroid. You need all the parts. And you can't be poisoned into health either. It just doesn't make sense. Healthcare is completely different from medical care, but we use those terms interchangeably. In fact, we don't even say medical care. We call it health care. It should be called the Affordable Medical Care Act. Is there a time when it's appropriate to be medically cared for? Of course there is. If you get hit by a car, if something drops on your head, if you have a part of your body hacked off accidentally, if you have an infection, those are times when you need medical care. Nobody disputes that. The, the problem is the conflation, the confusion, the com combining, the entanglement between two separate ideas, being medically taken care of and having your health addressed. And I'm gonna say this one last time. Medical care has nothing to do with health care. Medicine doesn't make us healthy, period. That means Obamacare, with the exception of and, uh, catastrophic health care, with a catastrophic medical care, getting hit by a car, getting hit by something, a meteor dropping on your head, whatever, getting your finger hacked off, getting bit by a shark, whatever it is, that's medical care. Health care is our job and our job only. Aside from the spiritual, mental, and emotional aspects, from a physical perspective, healthcare means nutrition, and healthcare means exercise. It's pretty much it. Good nutrition, good diet, making sure you're eating correctly, making sure you're supplementing, making sure you're using your mighty 90 essential nutrients and getting a little bit, and I mean a little bit, you don't need a lot, a little bit of exercise. And it's the same with the skin too, by the way. Having beautiful, healthy skin is like having a beautiful, healthy body. Having beautiful, beautiful healthy skin requires the same strategies as having beautiful, healthy bones, beautiful, healthy muscles, beautiful, healthy anything. Last week, we left off talking about the importance of building connective tissue in the body, and likewise, about the importance of building healthy connective tissue in the skin. We'll continue this when we come back from our break. Take your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. All right. 
We are back on the bright side. I'm Farm Spen, 844-236-6010 is our number today. And every day on the bright side, we do have a line open for you. We'll get your calls here uh, a couple minutes seconds, uh, at the end of our segment here. And then we'll continue in our next two segments, taking your calls at 844-236-6010. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products that you hear advertised on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com. You can purchase products right off the website or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Okay, I want to continue talking about skin and skin health. We've been talking about the skin for a while now. We'll continue talking about it. There's so much to talk about when it comes to the skin. Everybody's fascinated with skin and skin health. Everybody wants to have beautiful skin. I bet if it came down to having beautiful skin or having a beautiful internal body, most people would rather have beautiful skin. That's because when we look at each other, we're assessing each other by, in large part by our skin. But it's not necessarily the surface of the skin that we're looking at. It's the thickness and the bulk of the skin that we're looking at. And it's the thickness and the bulk of the skin that we're all wanting to enhance and increase when we use skincare products. To a certain extent, we want to have smooth skin on the surface. To a certain extent, we want to have a softness and to a certain extent we want to have even tone and there are ways to address the tone and the softness and the and the uh, smoothness of the surface of the skin but for the most part when we talk about having beautiful skin we're talking about bulk and thickness and that is a connective tissue issue a connective tissue distinction that has to be made connective tissue in the body along with muscle tissue and connective tissue in the skin along with muscle tissue forms the bulk of our bodies and the bulk of our skins. And most of the signs of what we call aging are connective tissue dissolving. The shrinkage, the shriveling that occur with old age are connective tissue problems. And likewise with the skin. Wrinkles are a connective tissue problem, not a surface problem. Inside the body, connective tissue breakdown shows up as hernias. It shows up as prolapses. It shows up as osteoporosis. Inside the body, connective tissue problems can show up as blood vessel issues, aneurysms, cholesterol deposits can be related to connective tissue breakdown. Connective tissue breakdown can happen inside of organs, in the kidneys, in the eyes, in the lungs. These are all connective tissue problems. Or these are, these are all organs that are susceptible to connective tissue problems. And of course, then, there's the relationship between the skin and the connective tissue. The human body and the skin are composed of four types of stuff. We always say on this program, all disease is cell disease, and there, a primal distinction in the body is between the cells and the stuff. Cells make the stuff, and some of the stuff the cells make are connective tissue. The cells make the tissue. That's all there is in the body is cells and stuff, cells and stuff. There's four types of stuff, four types of tissue. Stuff equals tissue. There's four types of stuff, four types of tissue. Connective tissue, epithelial tissue, muscle tissue, and nervous tissue. That's the four types of stuff. Connective muscle, and they're basically intertwined, connective and muscle, and they form the vast majority of the body. 80% or so of the body is this connective tissue, muscle tissue mass. If you've ever seen that bodies exhibit that was going around the country, still probably going around the country, where they show you dead bodies or bodies without the skin, what you're looking at, that fleshy stuff, is basically the connective tissue, muscle tissue complex in the body. It's the stuff that makes us up, the bulk of us. The nervous tissue is it's kind of threaded throughout it, throughout the muscle tissue and connective tissue, and that's what gives you electric, electrical energy, and the whole thing is candy-coated with epithelia. But the bulk of it, the vast majority of it, is connective and muscle tissue, likewise with the skin. If we want to have healthy, beautiful, wrinkle-free skin, if we want to have youthful skin, we want to be working on the connective tissue and the muscle tissue. And when you think about it this way, it really puts topical creams and lotions that are supposedly going to make our skin beautiful and wrinkle-free in perspective. How is it that topical products are going to do anything for connective tissue and muscle tissue? They can't, with, uh, with three exceptions. With three ingredient exceptions, your topical skin care products are not going to do anything for your connective tissue and your skin to fight wrinkles, no matter what you hear on the commercials. Nerium can't help your connective tissue. Botox can't help your connective tissue. Silicon, which we talked about last week, can't help your connective tissue. Even smearing on hyaluronic acid can't help your connective tissue. They're not going to do anything for your wrinkles. Don't waste your money. You may get a little softness, but you can use Cool Whip on your skin to get a little softness. 
So what can you do topically to stimulate connective tissue? Well, there's a few things. For the most part, no topical skincare products are going to help, but vitamin A, vitamin C, and acid or alpha hydroxy acids can have stimulating properties for your connective tissue for fighting wrinkles. And that's what makes these three the big three ingredients for anti-aging topical skincare. Vitamin A, retinoic acid, and retinol. Retinoic acid requires a, prescri a prescription. Retinol does not. You need about 10 times, or actually you need about 100 times the retinol to have equivalency of retinoic acid, which is why I made my truth product 5% retinol. Now the problem with retinol and retinoic acid is they can be slightly irritating, which is why I made my 5% retinol non-irritating. There's no preservatives, there's no fragrances, there's no waxes, there's no fillers. Everything in my 5% retinol product, which you'll find on truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com is going to do something for your skin. When I'm formulating a skincare product, I want to make sure it's doing something for your skin because I'm a healthcare professional. And I want to make sure your skin is healthy. So anyway, retinol, retinoic acid, vitamin C in its fatty form, and alpha hydroxy acids can indeed upregulate or stimulate connective tissue, the deeper layer of the skin. That's not to say, by the way, that the epithelia or the surface of the skin is not relevant when it comes to beauty. Dark spots, oily skin, dry skin, skin roughness, these are all factors that involve the surface of the skin. And you can do a lot of things for the surface of the skin, but what we're talking about here is wrinkles. What we're talking about here is the bulk or the thickness of the skin. And for, in the most part, for the, bulk, for the bulk and the thickness of the skin, for the most part, your topical skincare products are not going to be able to do anything. Now, we're going to be talking about the surface of the skin here in the coming days, but for now, I want to emphasize the connective tissue aspect of the skin. And if you cut through the marketing jargon and non-scientific nonsense that's associated with a billion-dollar skincare business, if you cut through it, you're going to see that unless you're getting retinol and retinoic acid, vitamin C in its fatty form and alpha hydroxy acid, your connective tissue, your topical products aren't going to do much for your connective tissue. Now, there's a lot of things you could do internally through diet and through nutritional strategies to build connective tissue. And these are all important because not only will you be preventing wrinkles, but you'll be building bone with these strategies. If you start to use nutritional supplements for wrinkles, you're also going to get stronger bones. If you use nutritional supplements for wrinkles, you're also going to get a stronger digestive lining. If you use connective tissue supplements for wrinkles, you're going to have better kidney health. You're going to have better muscle health. You're going, to have prevent, you're going to be preventing hernias and prolapses. You're going to be overall slowing down the aging process. That means nutritional supplements are not only going to be incredibly important for helping prevent aging in the skin, they're going to be incredibly important for helping prevent and protect against and even reverse aging inside the body. And there's lots of these supplements. I'll give you a couple right now, but we'll continue talking about this tomorrow. Glucogel caps, Z-Radical. Your healthy star pack, of course, is very important. And then uh, you may want to actually throw in some immortalium as well. Anyway, we'll continue talking about nutritional supplementation for building connective tissue tomorrow. We'll also talk about topical strategies, anti-wrinkle topical strategies tomorrow as we continue talking skin health on the bright side. Wanted to get to some phone calls before we went to our break. That's not going to happen. So if you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back. First thing, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue talking nutritional supplementation for wrinkles or anti-wrinkles, keeping in mind that taking care of wrinkles is also going to help you with the inside of the body, just to give you a little heads up on a couple of supplements that I like for helping protect against the formation of wrinkles and building connective tissue. Um, glucogel caps, the ultimate enzymes, Fucoid Z and the Z radical, both of those contain algae, brown algae. Uh, which has uh, substance, substances in them, in it, that can help support the growth of connective tissue and help coat and soothe the epithelia, the surface of the, uh, the surface of the skin and the surface of organs inside the body as well. We'll continue to talking about that tomorrow. We'll also talk uh, some skin health, as, uh, some topical skin health as well. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I want to tell you. Well, we'll hit the phones. We'll, we'll do all this tomorrow. We're going to have a lot of time to talk about skin care, skin health, 
and uh, topical and internal strategies in the coming days. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products or joining me in my mission to help educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, if you want to make some money selling nutritional supplements, selling the Longevity products, which have uh, helped so many people, so many folks lose weight and drop uh, get off their pers- their prescription drugs and and feel better and lower blood pressure and cholesterol and triglycerides and change their improve their digestive health eliminate digestive symptoms using the longevity products if you want to help people understand how to use these supplements and start yourself a business please join the brightside ben team you can call the phone team they can, they can tell you all about it 866-735-2470 is their number our number today 844-236-6010 let's go to texas and welcome jacob to the bright side good morning jacob what's cooking jacob in texas hola jacob okay if you're, if you're on there, Jacob, got some, uh, Jacob, do we have Jacob? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's cooking, oh, Jacob? Sorry. Okay, there it goes. Um, there you. My phone's about to die, so I'm going to try and get this out real quick. My okay. girlfriend, who's 27, I think has early onset rheumatoid arthritis. Why, why do you say that? Why do you say that? Well, I, I say that because that's what she's believing, and if you look at her joints, she, they, she says that they always hurt in her hands, and okay. they kind of look like they're little kind of blackening underneath okay. the skin. Are they knuckle- I have no reason to fully believe that, but I'm. Are they bending curious. weirdly or anything? Are they starting to crinkle up or contract they're, or anything? Uh, they're they're not they're not giving that typical rheumatoid like yeah. plant. Yeah. Okay. Well, she's only so twenty seven. Like only only twenty seven years old. So. Okay. Here's what you need to do, Jacob. First of all, most importantly, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. The key mm-hmm. word there is immune. Immune is defense. And say um, that, that's, that may be the single most important thing to understand about the disease process. Inflammation and immunity, and they're synonymous, inflammation is how immunity shows up, is a defensive response. And the yeah. only thing we need to know when we have a defensive response like rheumatoid arthritis, any immune condition, any autoimmune condition, any inflammatory condition, the only thing to simplify this whole process or to simplify this whole matter, the only thing we need to figure out is what is offending the body to, to well, a stimulate a defensive, defensive see, response. The thing is go ahead. She, just doesn't, she doesn't eat a whole lot of food. Like really will go on a few days. And I was curious because she's trying to do a water fast to see if that'll help. And I was that will help. That, if it's rheumatoid that arthritis, help. that will help. And that's a great idea. How did she know to do that? Uh, I think she just looked up online a few different remedies of that's what things to do. do it. I mean, even before, okay, so my... Why would a water, water my, in your, hang on, let me, hang on, Jacob, just one go, second. Go okay. In your, in your non, your, I assume you're not a medical professional, so in your layperson understanding, why would a water fast benefit rheumatoid arthritis? Well, because it would just... I mean, I would assume it would lessen the water content of the no. joints and like, can make them less inflamed. But I was just curious. I was hoping, or I was... No, hang on. I'm going to address your question in a go, second. Go, but I, want you to, I want to walk you through this thing. And for our listeners also, I want to walk everybody through this thing. A water fast is when you only drink water. It's not right. when you don't drink water. It's when you only drink water. It's kind of a confusing term. It means just water. So why would eliminating food and only drinking water improve arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, which is an inflammatory condition. So I'll I'll just answer the question in the interest of time. I'll answer it for you. It's because you're not putting the enemy into the body. Food represents an enemy when there's an inflammatory or an immune reaction. The body is treating the food as if it was the enemy. This is what rheumatoid arthritis is. This is what all autoimmune issues are. The enemy is getting into the body. The body's defenses go up. And the defensive response shows up as inflammation. And that's rheumatoid arthritis in a nutshell. It's any autoimmune disease in a nutshell, which is why a water fast will definitely help the symptoms. So a water fast is a brilliant idea. She's on the right track. Fasting in general. So the water would just be flushing all of her mineral. No, not so much that. It's that she's not putting the food in. Water is definitely a good idea, but it's that she's not getting food. When you don't put food in the body, the immune system can stand down, to use a military metaphor. Okay, the defenses can stand down. There's no more bombers coming into the country. There's no more right. infantry coming over the border, if you will. That's basically what an autoimmune disease is. The, inf- the enemy soldiers come over the border, and so the defense system goes up. The defense system, one of the uh, ways the defense system shows up is by walling away or creating a brick wall around the invaders. That brick wall is called inflammation. 
That's what inflammation is. It's a brick wall around the invader. Does that make sense? Did I explain that well? There's a oh, brick yeah, wall. No, I understand. I actually am uh, a medical okay. professional. So. <laughs> you are a medical. You're not a physician, are you? No, 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 no. Okay. What do you do? Uh, I'm a surgical technician. Okay. So, so you understand inflammation. Infl- you've oh, probably yeah, seen yeah, no, it. I- I get all of that. Uh, I was just, that was my main concern is that she, the water fasting would be flushing too much mineral content out. Which well, yes. Help, if she's, which would lessen that's her what, repair abilities. That is an issue. If she just drinks a lot of water, and anybody who's drinking a lot of water should be replacing their, their electrolytes, their minerals, their B vitamins and vitamin C, which will be flushed out. So if she right. doesn't water fast for a day or two, it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, she will she's lose her minerals and she will. Week. Now, if she does it for a week, she might be, it might be a good idea to use a, a vegetable juices periodically, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine periodically, maybe some mm-hmm. soup, vegetable soup or bone soup to replace her water-soluble nutrients. A week is a long time to just do water because, like you said, and very wisely said, she will lose her water-soluble nutrients, and she'll get tired, and she'll notice, she, she may notice a, a worsening of her effects if, if uh, she loses too many nutrients. So right. a water fast is a great idea, but period, if she's going to do it for a week, periodically she wants to be using some electrolytes and B vitamin, vitamin C solution with her water fast. But she'll notice some improvement. Now, a couple other things you could do is protect and support digestive health. Digestion, uh, to support digestive health, to support the digestive system for autoimmune issues, use the glucogel caps, use digestive enzymes. And by the way, the ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach will also help with the inflammation. So she'll help, uh, she'll, it'll help her digest her food, uh, absorb nutrients, and it'll also help with inflammation if she takes it on an empty stomach. The Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients are also going to be important. She may want to get some hyaluronic acid, which we've been talking about. That can have some uh, mm-hmm. bone building and joint building properties, help re- uh, reduce some of the effects. But basically, you're looking at a, a calming down the immune system, and fasting is the best way to do it. Hey, listen, i got to go. Thanks for all the information. Take care, man. Have a beautiful day, Jacob. Thanks, so, thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Catherine in Texas, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hello. Hey, Catherine, what's going on? Hi. Um, hey. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. Honestly, I really don't even know where to begin. Okay. But basically, in a nutshell, um, I have a really extremely stressful lifestyle. I own okay. and operate my restaurant. You operate and your own once, business, you said? Yes. I have a, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to let you. I'm years old. Well, hang on. we got to take a break. That's the music, Catherine. We've got to take a break. I want you to tell us a little bit about your business, and then I want to talk about your lifestyle and what we can do to help you. So don't go away. We've got to take a break. And if you're on hold, we'll try to get to all our calls here as best as we can. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. Catherine in Texas. Continue. Oh, tell us about your business real quickly, Catherine. Yeah. What do you do? Well, I uh, own and operate my own restaurant. Oh, it's nice. a very small place. My first, um, I had a food truck, and then I opened oh, cool. up a brick and mortar. We're in Texas. All of the health. We're in yeah, Texas. It's, I Where? had the truck in Austin, and I opened my restaurant in San Antonio, and it's a hyper-local farm-to-table place called The Clean Place. Oh, that's um, awesome. That's awesome. All my so, health problems didn't really surface until I opened my business. Okay. Obviously, it's the stress factor. Okay. Um, uh, I, for a while, I had um, issues with my stomach. Um, I was, for about a year, I had blood in my stool. It got okay. to How old are you, where Catherine? I had to, I'm, 30, I'm about to be 34 come August. Okay, well, you're um, too young to have these breakdown things. Listen, well, you could... The, I was the, diagnosed the, with Crohn's. Okay. And I, 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 that's still an issue. Um, I've tried, you know, they put me on Lealda and Benzol and all these things. I've just and they all helped you, and, you're, and, and now you feel <laughs> completely healed because the doctor no, put you on. No, absolutely not. Really? No, I stopped taking those meds. It helps an immediate, when, when I have immediate symptoms, when I'm in a really bad place with cramping and blood. Right, it, but they didn't make the well, problem disappear. But in the meantime, I, I drink juice. I, I've, I've been on a juicing program, et cetera, yada, yada, yada. Um, I go long strings of trade without eating because I'm in a hot kitchen. I cook food all day. Um, and now what is happening is, I mean, this is going on for months and months. I cannot sleep. My body is in hyperdrive. I am like, all right, I'm, all I'm right. Listen, sweetheart, mode. Catherine, listen. Catherine, my dear. I, I'm only in the interest of helping you out because I got some calls mm-hmm. I want to get to. We don't have a lot of time here. In the interest of helping you out, I'm going to cut you off. I would love. Here's the thing about all your symptomology, and everybody listening, I want you to hear this. 
to, to us, when we have these kinds of symptoms, they sound like they're unique and they're ours and they're personal. But to somebody like myself who's seen these thousands upon thousands of times, they're not unique. They're generic. Catherine, you've got great company. You've got millions of people who are in the same ballpark, as, who are in the same, uh, uh, same conundrum, have the same problem as you. Your body is breaking down. Now, yours is breaking down way too early. You're a kid, believe it or not. 34 is extremely young to have these kinds of breakdown problems. So what do you do when you have multiple issues going on? The first thing you got to do, you got to simplify things by going to the core of the body, the, the, the essence of the body, which is the digestive tract. Now, you have Crohn's issues, plus you're working with food. Plus, you have a history of blood in the stools. So your digestive system is screaming at me through the, through the telephone. Your digestive system is talking to me through the phone. Now, what does that mean? How do you deal with a digestive issue? Well, I'll give you a clue. It's impossible to have a digestive problem if you don't put anything in your digestive system. That means stop eating. Now, obviously, you have to eat eventually, but stop eating for a day or two days. Do the Swero V cleanse. Go to uh, brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com, order the Swero V, and do a three-day cleanse. I guarantee you just that alone is going to give you dramatic relief. Now, the Swero V cleanse, by the way, is uh, where you do a half a bottle of Swero V every hour, six bottles a day if you have a 12-hour day. Uh, the Swero V's got potassium and sodium and probi- uh, fermented cultures, all in a very absorbable form, so it'll give you energy. You can also use celery juice with or in addition, uh, in addition or instead, if you don't want to do the Swero V, do celery juice, cabbage soup. All of these have a nice coating, soothing effect. Don't do too much because you want to give your uh, digestive system a break, but a little bit through the fasting, through the two or three day fast that you're doing will give you energy and it'll make it easier for you to fast. Plus, you'll notice you have more energy anyway just by not eating food. My dear, that alone will make a huge difference. The second move that you want to make, and this is for everybody dealing with a, a, a breakdown in the digestive system or really any, any kind of breakdown, the second move you want to make in addition to the fasting or following the fasting is probiotics. Probiotics mean pro-life. And that's because the bacteria in the gut are the, are the, where we get the life force from in terms of vitamins, in terms of detoxification, and for you particularly, in terms of rebuilding your digestive lining. As you have diarrhea, which you must have, and as you have a, a breakdown in the digestive system, the bacteria in the gut, the population, and the, the proportions of the different types of bacteria become, to get thrown, become thrown off, and that compounds the problem. So replacing those bacteria is extremely important. Get on the bioluminescence nightly essence product use two in the morning or three in the morning and three at night in addition to that start to explore fermented foods kimchi and miso and tempeh get a book called the art of fermentation you're going to repopulate the digestive the the, uh, bacteria in the digestive uh, digestive tract between those two moves you're going to do a huge go a huge 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 uh, way towards improving not just digestive health but, but also the stress the whole thing where you can't sleep at night, you probably have anxiety issues and jitteriness, etc. All of these are well, related to all of the hang on, just let me finish here real quick. All of these are related to things that are leaking through the digestive lining into the blood. The blood is the sacred space, and once things get into the blood, it sets off a red alert in the body. You will not be able to sleep. You will not be able to repair. You will not be able to have the energy that you need to run your life once stuff leaks into the blood, and that's where you really run into risks of immune problems and inflammation once things get into the blood. There's many, many more things you can do, but uh, go ahead. I want to let you finish. What were you going to say, ma'am? Catherine? Well, I mean, I do. I, I, I mean, I'm in the business food, and I, 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 I take probiotics three times a day. I, all right. I all right. I'm going to cut you off right here, right now. I need to cut you off right now. But, okay. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It matters what you're not doing. It doesn't matter what you're doing right you don't want to know what you're doing right. Obviously, you're doing something wrong because the human body's not supposed to be sick. So you don't, I don't right. want to know what you're doing. I want to know what you're not doing. If you're doing probiotics but you still have a problem, maybe you're not doing enough. Maybe you're not doing the right kind. Maybe uh, there's something that are killing the bacteria. I can't tell you that. It doesn't matter what you're doing, though, right. sweetheart. Okay? It okay. matters what's wrong, not what's right. So I'm giving you ideas here if you're saying, well, I'm already doing probiotics, and I'm not just picking on you, Catherine, because I hear this all the time. Well, I'm already doing that. You're not doing it correctly, or you're not doing it enough, or you're not doing it at the right time, or something is contradicting or, or uh, opposing or antagonizing what you are doing. So I'm giving you ideas here. These are all tried and true. 
The point that I want to make is if you have a digestive problem, it is something that you're putting in the digestive system in combination with something you're not putting in the digestive system. And I want you to regard your stress and probably your, you, you must have skin problems and menstrual cycle problems as well. Okay, so all of the, somewhat. all of the, well, well somewhat. <laughs> you're not yeah. supposed to have it all, you know. And I'm not saying that to pick on you, Catherine. I'm just telling you these are things that you want to be looking at. But you can't focus on these other issues without focusing on the digestive system first and foremost. Hope that helps. There's so many things you could do, sweetheart. You're only 34. You can turn this thing around almost right away, and I would encourage you to do it. Just uh, last thing I want to tell you, uh, liquid nutrients are also very helpful, soups and juices. Last thing I want to tell you, when you can't sleep at night or when you have anxiety issues uh, or when you have any kind of signs that, you're, uh, that something is getting into the system that's causing some distress, stop and practice slow. Slow is very important. Deep. Deep is very important. Breathing, where you pull, where you uh, inhale oxygen in all the way to the bottom of your feet, practically, certainly into the bottom of your belly, and then blowing off the carbon dioxide and the acid to relax the body. And you can all, you can feel the relaxation occur as you're exhaling. Last word. What do you got to say? Anything? No, that's it. I, I just want to be able to sleep. Like, I'm sure. It's miserable. Down. Poor thing. You know, with between that's a business and between your digestive issues, you got all kinds of stuff going on. Listen, you don't have to have them. If you take care of the digestive system by doing an elimination diet and starting off with a fast, using the, the uh, probiotics, the Bioluminite nightly essence, the Fucoid Z, bone soup, okay. cabbage juice, celery juice, there's so many ways you could go, and then deep breathing, that should help you out a lot. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. I want to see if I can Thank get you. one more in. Uh, let's go to RC. RC, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Hey, Ben, you're the voice in the wilderness. Uh, you <laughs> I really appreciate that. Everybody's stressed in the world. Well, what's happened the last week with the... Uh political game with the health uh, health care act anyway but the uh, reason i called is i was in church yesterday and there was an incredible reading out of mark 5 chat, uh, verses 21 to 43 and i'm not, it's jairus's daughter and the woman with hemorrhage and, and it says there was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for 12 years she had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors and had spent all that she had yet she was not helped but only grew worse and she touched Jesus and his cloak and was healed. Because I remember years ago you said, disease equals stress minus energy. And my belief is Jesus was pure energy. And Praise you God. are pure energy, Ben. Thank you. You are giving out. So we lost RC. Thank you. I appreciate that, RC. That's beautiful. And that'll be the last word because that's the end of our program. Thanks so much for listening, friends. If we left you on hold, call back tomorrow. And we'll get you up first thing. Just tell our call screen and we left you on hold. I hate leaving folks on hold, but we only have an hour on this program, and I, I apologize for that. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, head to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com. And please consider joining the Brightside Ben team. Let's you and I do this together. Let's help change the world together, and you can make some money while you're doing it at the same time. Tell the folks at 866 uh, 735 you want to join the Brightside Ben team, or head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com and click on the join the team link. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.